everybody and welcome to the second installment of TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest for January 9th, 2016. So expect another healthy dose of 1v1s, doubles, and this time around, a main event 4v4 war. A forewarning, I'm currently fighting off a pretty bad throat cold, so I may cough at random intervals through some of these matches, and I do apologize for that. It's been with me since episode 1-2, and let me tell you, it's made doing these 10 times harder. With that being said, let's get to our curtain jerker. Wait a minute! Chameleon is doing double duty? Nope. Neo uses male chameleon. I'm using the female variant. Two completely different characters. This chameleon has the powers of Katana, Melina, and Jade. She'll get the strutter stuff against one of Neo's former faces with Devil Hunter Yoko. Let's get over to a random stage now. Hope you all enjoy. Here's hoping my throat will hold out better this week. Alrighty, ooh, brand new stage here. I'm loving this. Let's see, Chameleon Devil Hunter Yoko near a bridge. Engage. I see, Chameleon gets pounded by the fire and gets knocked down. Looks like she's in Melina form. Gets a jump kick off on Yoko, catches her good. Waits for Yoko to advance his aerial fist. Missed the side shot. Gets the uppercut off on Yoko instead. Goes for another side blast. Let's see, missed the jump kick. Barely dodging the fire ring from Yoko. Yoko kind of standing there, lets load another fire ring. Looks like Chameleon catches her with a jump kick. Goes for the special fire ring blast. Wow, went right through Chameleon following the Jade kick. Damn, Chameleon barely broke a sweat against Yoko in round one. Damn near flawless there. I think she only got chipped a little bit. All right, let's see if Chameleon can do just as good in round two. Engage again. I right, see so like, man, Chameleon catches her with a side shot from the air. Gets the roll, knocks Yoko senseless. Missed the aerial fist. Firing pounds Chameleon down. Tries to get a jab through. And Yoko leaps into the air, gets caught by the Jade kick. Gets knocked down. I see now Chameleon clawed back by Yoko's kick. But the Chameleon counters goes for a fan shot from, from the Katana side of her. And the firing blasts Chameleon out of the air. Gets in with the jump kick, catches Yoko nicely. And the firing intercepts Chameleon. Launches her across the stage now. See, Chameleon methodically walking towards Devil Hunter Yoko, blocks the incoming firing, Mr. Roundhouse, gets caught by the low sword swipe, Yoko trying to bring it back with the firing spam, knocks Chameleon back, see how Chameleon trying to find a way, gets the side shot through, gets the jump kick, Yoko blocks it, missed the firing, and the uppercut takes out Yoko! Uh oh What's this?! Wow! Looks like the acid just ate through Yoko's skin- Oh no! I've never seen that before! Yoko! No! Someone give me the Dragon Balls, quick! Chameleon, you're not supposed to kill! You're supposed to knock out your opponent! I have spent a lifetime hidden from view. Oh, that's nice to know. Now, do you have Dragon Ball so I can bring back Devil Hunter Yoko? You weren't supposed to kill her! I'm gonna be one person short of my roster now. This ain't good. Well, at least the good thing I can say about Chameleon is she's not like the fail male soul ninjas. Chameleon's actually winning, unlike Katana, Jade, and Molina. So, thank you, Chameleon, for being awesome. Let's hope she can keep this up for the rest of her run. Off to a great start beating Yoko 2-0. Devil Hunter Yoko, better start living up to that Devil Hunter reputation if you hope to stick around here. Anyways, folks, stay tuned as I prepare the second singles matchup. Hopefully, we'll get a 2-1 out of the next one, eh? Let's hope. Anyways, BRB! And we are back, Jack, for more of TK's Mugen Saturday Slam Fest Episode 2. Now we return with the other single set here, and we have the return of Blood Rain, and she comes with a Sonic Atom 2 upgrade, so she's a lot tougher now. And what perfect timing for that AI boost, because she's going up against the returning to singles Wonder Woman! Yeah, she broke up at the Flash thing as they sucked back in my old series. Wonder Woman's looking to continue her dominant rampage from my singles division on the other show. And let's see if she's got that same sparkle as we get to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy. Should be a pretty solid matchup if both of these characters live up to their, um, status, I guess you could say. Blood Rain and Wonder Woman, this should be amazing. Let's engage, here we go. Alright, Wonder Woman starts off with a super fist, Mr. Lasso Joe gets the big aerial kick combo to Blood Rain, tries to fight out of the corner with her short shots, Wonder Woman counters with the aerial throw, gets another aerial throw off on Blood Rain, chucks her to the ground, so he misses the stop, Blood Rain comboing up from behind, Lasso uppercut knocks Blood Rain back, Blood Rain trying to block, Wonder Woman with the aerial straight catches Blood Rain again, now goes for a super short combo on the landing, Blood Rain blocking most of it, gets caught by the axe slam, blocks the stop from Wonder Woman, now Blood Rain gets a sweep kick, light screen to flex Blood Rain away, now Wonder Woman goes for the energy stars, ends up pumping Blood Blood Rain to her death in the corner. 
and Amazon never Wonder surprises. Woman with a very commanding performance in round one here, Blood Rain. You better get that blood pumping in round two if you hope to survive this. Engage again. Alright, Blood Rain opens up with a super short combo, ends up whiffing it. Wonder Woman capitalizes with the lasso draw, right to the dive kick of Blood Rain. Goes for the lasso, grab slam on Blood Rain, knocks her down good. Gets another lasso, grab slam to Blood Rain, gets her good there. Let's see, now Blood Rain gets clobbered back into the corner by Wonder Woman's kick combo. Now Wonder Woman with the suplex on the landing of Blood Rain. Blood Rain gets a short slash through into that roundhouse kick, blocks the lasso shot. Wonder Woman missed the lasso drill. Oh boy, Blood Rain gets knocked out of her super short combo. Wonder Woman with the lasso drill uppercut takes her out. Amazon Welcome back to single superstardom, Wonder Woman! Yeesh, she hasn't skipped a beat here! A commanding, dominant, vicious 2-0 performance! Even Blood Rain with the AI boost could not do anything to this superstar of a woman! The wonders of this woman still dazzles me! Ay! And Blood Rain sunk her fangs into nothing but steel! Or gold, I don't know! Whatever that lasso's made of, I'm going to say it's probably gold. Sunk her teeth into gold and pretty much broke them. Got no blood out of it. Just another big loss. Blood rain, please, you got to start winning soon. It was bad enough seeing you go on a losing streak on my old series. Don't start on this new one. Even with this AI boost, you're still not getting anywhere. It's like, come on. We'll give her a little more time, but if she doesn't start winning by the end of this season, she might be bouncing right back to the Osho. If he wants her again, I don't know. Anyways, that being said, let's get right on the doubles. Maybe we'll have better luck finding a round three there, eh? Anyways, BRB. Alrighty, Roof, folks. I is Bex, and ready to do some doubles for episode two. First up, we have the return of Team Earthbound, a.k.a. Team Mother, a.k.a. Wonder Boys, whatever the hell you want to label them. We have Lucas and Ness. Yes, I'm sure you guys can remember their abysmal run of my old series, but now they are back and more balanced. And what I mean by that is, Lucas used to be not so aggro. Now he's fairly aggro. We kept this PK Store Storm uh, untouched because it didn't really do a lot of damage to begin with, so Lucas was balanced in the special aspect, but he needed to be um, intensified in the melee aspect. Ness, on the other hand, his PK Store Storm did way too much damage, so that had to be nerfed down. And Ness's aggro -ness is pretty good already, so yeah. It's like they needed the opposite done. So now Ness and Lucas have both been balanced out pretty good. And now let's get to their opponents. And these two, oh, well, they're going to make a big impact. After what I've seen them do off camera, they are capable of totaling any team in my doubles division. We have Silver Samurai making a return. I'm sure you can remember him from my S tier in my old series. He teamed up with Spiral there, did pretty good. And now Silver Samurai has a new partner, seeing as Spiral is... Uh, doing full-time on Neo show, along with uh, Spawn. Now Silver Samurai has picked up Omega Red for his new ally. And wait until you see him in action. Now let's get to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy. And let's see if these two can make some waves, huh? Boy, if Team Mother could pull this one out of the hat, that'd be quite a career starter for him in this new series. Let's engage. I see Lucas missed the jump kick there. Let's see, he gets knocked up in the air. Ness ends up grabbing Omega Red. Toss him right up. Looks like Silver Samurai saves him with a couple sword sides. Omega Red gets him with the aerial tackle. Miss Ness now. Lucas getting sliced into by Silver Samurai. Ness sitting there power shielding. He better get in there and save Lucas. Let's see, Omega Red missed that cable shot. Let's see, now Ness missed the headbutt from the air. Let's see, now Lucas spamming PK fire from long range. Let's see, there's Omega Red blocking Ness's advances. Ness going for the PK Star Storm. Oh boy, Lucas ends up hitting Omega Red with a neutral air. Now he gets juggled by the meteors. Omega Red dead already. Off by Lucas. And now Ness ends up grabbing Silver Samurai. Tossed him to the other side of the stage to his death. Wow! Team Mother actually pulled off the round one win here. Way to go, boys. Round two, see if Silver Samurai and Omega Red can bring it back now. I see Omega Red charges it, gets a big Super Fist combo, falling Silver Samurai's aerial sword strike. Damn, did about half their health already. That's Silver Samurai, Omega Red unloading. Ness goes for the PK Star Storm. Oh boy, Lucas dead though. And Ness in deep trouble, gets a neutral air off, missed the forward air, ends up swatting Omega Red. Silver Samurai knocked back. Now gets knocked back again by Ness. See, Ness gets a drop kick from Omega Red. There he goes. And Silver Samurai and Omega Red rebound beautifully in round two, and we are getting our first.
first round three of episode two, engage for the last time. All right, Silver Samurai gets it with the sword shot. It was like Lucas with the neutral air. All the way, Omega Rider loading with the cable shot. Now see Silver Samurai go for an aerial sword string on Lucas. Now Ness sends it away. Omega Red diving down on Ness. Now goes to uh, the attack on Lucas. Missed the aerial fist dive there. Now Ness gets a fair off. Now goes for a PK Star Storm. Ends up slamming Silver Samurai. Lucas trying to attack Silver Samurai. He gets juggled by the Meteors now. Missed the dive kick. Let's see now. Silver Samurai leaping towards Ness who gets a fair off. Now Silver Samurai grabbed by Ness. Tossed up. Now gets a neutral air swat away. Omega Red trying to lash out Silver Samurai. Gets a dive kick. Ness with the neutral air. Lucas trying to spam the PK Fire from long range. Now I see Silver Samurai trying to go for a special. Omega Red unloading. Oh my god. Ends up. Man, it looks like both of them go for their specials at once. It looks like Omega Red missed the cable shot. Silver Samurai gets it with the sword combo right to Omega Red's cable throw. There goes Ness. And Lucas in deep trouble now. Lucas trying to pound on Silver Samurai. Omega Red with the cable slam to Lucas. And the sword slice from Silver Samurai brings them down. Damn! Incredible fight from both teams. Very back and forth action. Team Mother, you gotta be commended for this performance. You did very good here. They, you know, Silver Samurai and Omega Red had to work for this win. They got a 2-1. Man, that was probably the best fight Lucas and S have put up against any team I've seen. Silver Samurai and Omega Red with the victory, however. And, like I said, they are here to stay. And Lucas and S finally had a credible performance, so I'm not going to bitch at them tonight. Let's hope Lucas and S can keep forcing round threes and maybe they can actually get some victories later on. So they're showing some promise right now, which is good. Silver Samurai, Omega Red, the way to go, guys. Hell of a win here. Let's see if you can keep your train of momentum going. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned as I get the second doubles match prepared. Be right back. Howdy, peoples! And welcome back to TK's Mugen Saturday Slam Fest. Now it's time for the second doubles set. And look at the brand new Team Samurai showdown we have here. No Basara and Mina, they've been given the pink slip a while ago. Say hello to Harumaru and Genjiro. Yes, they have forged an alliance, and Shadow Man is no longer with me. He has officially gone over to Neo Show to start a new career there. I wish Shadow Man the best of luck, and Harumaru, best of luck to you with your new partner Genjiro. I'm sure you two are going to be just as dominant a force. Now, they will get a chance to demonstrate that against the up-and-coming brand new team of Team school days consisting of Kodonoa Katsura and Sayanzi Sakai. I hope I pronounced their names right. And these two vixens are going to be very vicious. You'll see how vicious once we get to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy Samurai Showdown School Days. Which franchise will claim their first ever victory on my series? This is going to be brutal with a capital B. Let's get ready to kick butt and engage. I right, see Kendro starts in with a charging sword slash, ready to the triple sword uppercut on both gals. Now it's catching Sakai into the corner. Harumaru getting him with the big sparring kick to a short slam, right to the fire sword uppercut. I see Harumaru misses sword jab, Kendro gets him with the low kick. Now the girls pin in the corner. Kendro, Harumaru just hacking and slashing and kicking. Sword uppercut launches Ketsura out. There she goes. Sakai in trouble. Hammer from Harumaru brings her down. And Samurai Showdown just stampeded all over their faces in round one. Let's see if School Days can bring it back somehow in round two. What's this? Oh god. She's going yandere mode. Oh god, they're going psychotic. I hope Samurai Showdown's ready for this. Engage again, here we go. I see Homo rolls in, Gendro whiffed the sword up, and missed the fire cyclone, oh boy. Now I see Sakai lashes out with the energy claw. I see how Katsura throws energy orbs down. I see Homo Gendro with the jumping sword slash. I see how, oh my goodness, now the girl's pounded into the corner. Gendro gets in with the sword up, cut to Katsura. Now Homo rolls towards Sa Sakai, Mr. the hammer arm. Now Katsura gets in with the knife stab. There goes Homo already. Oh my god, and Gendro off by Sakai's energy tackle. And school days with a come with a with a vicious destructive comeback in round two. Man, they were doing heavy damage with that special, whatever it was. I really hope Samurai Shodown can bring it back in round three. Engage for the last time. I Homo gets a fire cycle off. Kendra ends up cutting Sakai. Now Homo gets a spark kick to a hammer on a Katsura. Big rainbow beam hammers Homo with some good damage. Kendra charges it. Super card slice special. Right to Homo's sidekick. Now the girls pin between Samurai 
showdown. Hollow with the swarm cut. Mr. Fire Cyclone. Kendro charges in. Hammer from Hollow Oh man, the girls getting violated in the corner. Hollow Kendro knocked down. Let's see now. Let's see. Hollow rolls in. Mr. Sword Jab. Gets that one off. Kendro with the sword uppercut. Looks like Sakai got launched across the stage. Oh, an explosion launches Hollow up. Looks like Sakai got off. Katsura Barry. Now Kendro lands a super car size special. Ends up launching Katsura. Hollow with the with the fire cyclone. Let's see. Kendro gets it with the sword slash. Hollow with the sword jab. But no matter, Kendro gores her through the chest and Sparta kicks her. And Samurai Showdown bring it right back in round three, folks, as they lock this set up with the key and toss it away 2-1. Big time win for Samurai Showdown over school days here. Two round threes in a row here. Let's hope we can make it three with the 4v4 main event coming up next. School Day still had a splendid showing here. Samurai Showdown just did it, just did it, did the job a lot better, in my opinion. School Day still have a chance to redeem themselves later. Samurai Showdown start their careers together. Hallmaru and Gendro start off strong with a nice performance and a victory here. Let's see if they can keep riding that wave of momentum into their next set. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned as I prepare the 4v4 main event of my new series in episode 2 here. Be right back as I prepare it. It is now time for the epic 4v4 main event of episode 2. And our first two 4v4 teams to step up to the plate are Team MLP, consisting of Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie. You guys are already familiar with Twilight Sparkle and Applejack from my old series. They did pretty well. And Rarity, this is the first time we've ever seen her in action, so her AI is pretty decent. We'll see what she could do shortly. And Pinkie Pie, she's back in a much tougher form now. She's been Mokuized, if you want to say that. Now, let's go over to their opponents on the other side. Yes, folks, this is my Darkstalkers team. So I'll dub them Team Darkstalkers the second. And they consist of Queen Bee, Rikuo, Lord Raptor, and Bishamon. And I don't know how much tougher these guys are than um than John, Felicia, Morrigan, and Lilith over on Neo's show. I think Neo's Darkstalkers team is still superior. But we'll see what mine could do shortly as we get to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy. And if they could beat the ponies, that would be a hell of a feather in their cap to get their 4v4 career going. MLP! Darkstalkers the second in the TNA ring stage. Who will achieve their first ever 4v4 win? We'll find out in game. I see the ponies getting pounded back with a Lord Rattler knocked out of the chainsaw attack. Queen Bee getting in on Twilight as the will try to eat her. And now see Applejack goes for the flame tackle special. Ends up drilling the Darkstalkers pretty good. Now see Twilight and Applejack attacking them in the air now. Oh my god, this ain't good. Rick will summon a big tidal wave. Applejack goes for the flame tackle special again. Oh, Queen Bee nearly dead here. It looks like someone, it looks like Lord Raptor dropped already, and Rikuo knocked down. It looks like Queen Bee down, and there goes Rikuo. It looks like Bishamon got dropped into confusion. And the ponies obliterate them in round one. Hopefully, Darkstalkers the second can power themselves back into this match and take round two. Let's engage again. I see Applejack is the elbow drop off of Bishamon. Rikuo attacking Pinkie Pie from behind. I see the Queen Bee hanging back now. Applejack tries to get a jab off Mr. Galrit. Let's see, now Lord Raptor with a sword uppercut to Rarity as a Twilight throwing the energy force build up. Bishamon is trying to get a sword slash off on Applejack. What's up blocking? What's going on here? Looks like Rikuo gets back up. Twilight trying to block. And Bishamon gets a sword uppercut off on Twilight. And the other ponies pinned in the corner. Looks like Applejack is dead. Rarity and Pinkie Pie getting buried by Lord Raptor and Queen Bee. Rikuo trying to help Bishamon out against Twilight. Looks like Applejack down, Pinkie Pie down, Rarity down. And there goes Twilight. And the Darkstalkers have beasted their way back, ladies and gents, securing the round two win. And we are getting a third round three out of episode two. This is going to be amazing. Let's engage for the last time. I see Twilight starts off with a couple headbutts. Oh my god, what's this special? I see, I see, oh my, I see uh, Rikuo goes in with a body dive right into Twilight. I see now the Fishamon. Fishamon blocking the big sword drill from Queen Bee. Now Queen Bee misses Stinger shot, and Pinkie Pie lashing out with a headbutt on Bishamon Rikuo getting an air grill. As the Twilight sandwich in the corner, pile driver from Lord Raptor on Twilight, and Queen Bee unloading some hornets. Now see Rikuo goes for a fin blast, Pinkie Pie down already. What's going on? Looks like Applejack is gone, Rarity gone, and Twilight lobbed to her death in the middle of the ring. And the Darkstalkers just completely ran rampant all over them in round three. 
as they take this set 2-1 in a very promising and impressive fashion. Buzz buzz, Queen Bee. Like, I didn't expect Darkstalkers 2 to pull it out, but they have proven me wrong today, folks. They are showing they could be just as tough as John, Felicia, Morgan, and Lilith. Darkstalkers trying to represent hard in 4v4, and they're doing a hell of a job over on Dio's show and mine. And the ponies, I'm quite surprised they didn't fight back harder in round three, because normally Applejack is able to get that fl special flame tackle off a lot, and that usually brings her team back. But she couldn't get it off in round three, and Darkstalkers, they stayed on it all the way through. Props to them. They've secured their first ever 4v4 victory. Now let's we'll see if they can build from that foundation. And that's the end of another episode, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Three round threes here, so I thought it was pretty damn good. Episode three's got quite the bar to try and set. Anyways, stay tuned for episode three coming next week, and I'll see you then, folks. Peace friggin' out all.